to the 458 Speciale. We've left it until the evening because we've had an invite from W Motors. Now W Motors, you might be familiar with the name because these are the guys uh, that bought us the Lycan Hypersport. If you're not familiar with that car, it was the car that in Fast and Furious, I think it was a Fast and Furious 7? Yeah, Fast and Furious 7, where it dives through several skyscrapers in Abu Dhabi. So they're responsible for that car and they have an all new hypercar called the Fenner. I think that's how I pronounce it anyway. So we've had a last minute invite from them to come down to W Motors HQ, which is brand new. It's in the middle of Dubai. Look at this, we've got some Middle Eastern fans here. <laughs> It's crazy. That's the other thing I'm super surprised at is the reach of JWW out here is absolutely shocking. It's amazing because it, since I've arrived, there hasn't been a day gone by where somebody hasn't reached out and said, come and do something. Anyway, back to the original point, W Motors, Central Dubai. Let's go check it out. Right, welcome to the interior of the new yeah. Fenir Supersport. Up until now, all I've seen is photographs of it. I can't tell you how incredible the sculpture is on yeah. this thing. Please, introduce yourself, your role, and how it all came about. Sure, well, I'm uh, Ralph DeBass. I'm the founder and CEO of W Motors. Mm -hmm. And this is the Fenir Supersport. So that's the first Fenir we ever produced, which is the successor to the Lycan Hypersport that everybody knows. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very proud to launch it here, but not only in Dubai for the first time, but also in our first flagship store, which we launched on November 29th uh, this year. So it was a big milestone for W Motors to uh, open up a flagship store and to launch a new supercar, which we're making more accessible to the public. So the car is not limited anymore like the Lycan, which was mm -hmm. seven cars only ever sure. made. Yeah. Uh, we're making 25 cars a year, so it's more of a series production. Mm -hmm. and we're targeting 100 cars uh, for the next uh, three or four years. Wow. Um, and this car is more, is much more sportier, let's say, than the than Lycan. So we we reduced 200 kilograms in weight. Wow. Uh, we okay. added up a lot of new technologies when it comes to the tooling and engineering of the vehicle uh -huh. itself. Uh, we have graphene integrated in the body panels. Uh, we have 800 horsepower in the flat six twin turbo mid engine. 800 horsepower on this one. 800. Uh, 1,200 <laughs> wow. torque uh, with a seven speed double clutch PDK. So I, gonna say, I just noticed this. So yeah. I mean. Those of you who watch this channel regularly, I often refer to myself as a gearbox snob, <laughs> but because I, so I'm either manual or twin clutch. You that's, know? that's the way to so go. So to see a PDK in this is fantastic. It was a big step, especially that we work with roof. So all yeah. our cars are powered by roof and getting the PDK as well with our relationship with Porsche uh -huh. and roof was very important for us. And um, the Lycan first generation had a six speed sequential manual, mm -hmm. which was really phenomenal as well for people who love mm -hmm. racing, like you said, sure. uh, but the double clutch is a different world. So yeah. you really feel the difference. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And for it to be used on the road as well, oh, yeah. when you're going slower, it's a lot more of a civilized Absolutely. experience. Absolutely, it's much too, easier right? to drive. Yeah, uh, inner city driving, yeah. and it's much more aggressive when it comes to circuit driving uh -huh. and really wanting racing this car yeah. uh, on the road. So, what does the car weigh? This car is one thousand three hundred and forty kilograms. Wow. Uh, compared to the Lycan, which was around one thousand and four eighty, one thousand five hundred approximately. Sure. PDK. You mentioned there was a huge amount of torque. Yeah. Did you have to do any particular engineering on the gearbox to help it deal no, no, with no. that? The ZF gearbox can yeah. go up to around 14, uh, 1400 uh, wow. uh, oh, newton meter torque. Meters. Wow. Uh, okay, and cool. this was a big issue with the first generation, which yeah. wasn't able to handle such torque. Uh, mm -hmm. With this one, which is a new one, now we can go up to 1200 with ease. Uh, so we don't feel this, you know, this, uh, mm. this torque pressure that we have. Uh, it's a rear wheel drive car, so you have a mid engine and a 50 50 weight distribution. Okay, so when cool. you're accelerating, you really feel all the torque and all the power in it. It's really yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. And the twin turbos with this kind of roof engine, uh, from gear gear one to gear seven, you still feel the turbos kicking in bet, constantly. Yeah. So it's wow. non-stop from it's the... Relentless surge of torque. It doesn't stop. You know, from 1,000 yeah. RPM up to 6, 7,000 <laughs> RPM, you keep on pushing like an animal. So it's really a beast when, you, when it comes to driving. Fabulous. So the last time I interacted with you guys was when we took the Hypersport up to the top of Jebel J's. Basically 12 months, as yep. it, just by pure coincidence has gone by 
Um, you, not only have you been working on this, you've been working on Iconic too, yep. right? Tell me about that, because that's crazy. It's amazing, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we wanted to go into electric. Uh, yeah. W Motors will never do electric cars. We're always uh -huh. going to be making super crazy limited edition uh, sports cars. Sure. Uh, however, we launched a sister company called Iconic Motors, uh, based in China, uh, where we're developing some mass production, but special mm -hmm. vehicles. So mm -hmm. we launched... Uh, SPV, which is the first uh, smart, sexy passenger vehicle. <laughs> yep. uh, it's, a, it's a really luxurious, uh, crazy looking van designed by W Motors. Uh, let's say it looks similar to the DNA than the Lycan and the Fenier, uh -huh. but on a van and full electric. So cool. we were able to achieve this uh, in a few years of research and development with their multinationals. Uh, same partners that we have with W Motors, Ma Ma Magna Steyr, uh, mm -hmm. big, big names on the market. Uh -huh. And we're going to produce over 100,000 units per year. Uh, production wow. starts next wow, year. Wow, so wow, we I have here the VIP, which you will see now in a bit. Uh, uh -huh. We have also the premium edition uh, uh -huh. in our warehouse coming in in a few days here. Nice. So we want to showcase these crazy looking vans uh, to show yeah. the people the future of electric mobility. Sure. And on top of that, autonomous. Autonomous is the future. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing to think that the same brand that is building something so driver focused is able to diversify into not only electric, well, but fully... That, that's the future. I mean, like I said, um, our team, W Motors, is not only a producer and manufacturer of cars. Uh -huh. uh, this is one division that we do, creating crazy supercars. Mm -hmm. But we have an automotive consultancy, mm -hmm. which we right. diverse our activities from engineering, research, development, uh -huh. uh, design. And we develop some crazy looking concepts. And one of them is the autonomous level five, which we're making with uh, several international partners. Uh -huh. uh, the cars, we started production of it. We tested the first prototypes, uh -huh. working beautifully. And we're going to yeah. be launching these cars as the official Expo 2020, which is the oh, global yeah. sure, exhibition in Dubai. Yeah. And we're going to have five cars driving around here wow. on a level five full autonomous vehicle. So you'll be an official autonomous partner of Dubai it's going to be quite, quite cool. Expo. Yeah, That's a big deal, man. It's a big That's deal. That's awesome. Congratulations. But, uh, thank you. Very thank cool. you. Yeah, nice work. And so, for those of you, of you who may not realize, tier five, is there even a steering wheel? Nope. So that when we say autonomous, we mean like you're on your own, bro. You know? <laughs> there is nothing, no you're dashboard, no steering wheel, yeah. nothing whatsoever. Big steps, fantastic. Also, we're here in your brand new showroom. I assume this is the flagship? That's the flagship store. Uh -huh. uh, we call it the Debbie Motors Gallery, which is the first one opening in, a, in the world. So we announced okay. it many years ago that we're going to do something, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been working on it for a year now. It's and stunning. It's ready, so it's a yeah. thousand square meters of pure W Motors history and the world yeah. of W Motors. Where you see the concept cars, you see uh -huh. the production cars, you see our future vehicles. And upstairs we have a full design center as well, so nice. people working on design, concept design. Oh, okay. so anybody it's can all visit. That's so upstairs. Oh, that's uh, awesome. We have a coffee shop, we have a yeah. Michelin star restaurant, so it's a full experience. And uh -huh. there's an art gallery as well all around, which wow. people can come in and exhibit their art and try to see some unique pieces that's from cool. time to time. So wow. it's a whole world we wanted to bring to the world, yeah. to, the, to this uh, region. Yeah. And uh, we're adapting the same concept for different parts of the world, such as Miami, China as well. At the W, we're doing the same, uh, cool. just to duplicate the concept of uh, the gallery. So, run me through a little bit of this screen. It is literally like being in a, <laughs> in a fighter jet. So that, that's the whole concept of it. Yeah. We wanted to make something really crazy, looking like a fighter jet, a video game. Uh, you have all the information you need here right in front of you. Uh -huh. And now this is the normal skin. You also have the race skin, okay. which it turns into purely just a few numbers that you need to see during nice. the racing, uh, cool. when you're racing the car. Uh, so you have you know, the RPM, uh -huh. you have the speed, you have the gears, you have all the information there. And you have a small miniature of the veneer as well, which shows you what's happening yeah. to the car. And then in the infotainment, uh, you have the complete diagnostic of the vehicle where you see the car in 3D, you have all the information that you need. Bluetooth nice. telephone, of course, there's a web browser as well to go in and uh -huh. research oh, wow, a few okay. things. Uh, music player, so it's a standard thing. There's a hard disk inside the car. And we wanted to keep the weight down, keep everything reduced mm -hmm. to the minimum. We just have seats. A steering wheel, paddle shift, a small screen, and that's it. Uh, we want to give a sporty feeling to it, and that's that's. I think it's a great job that the designers did uh, adapting into the vehicle. I think it nailed it. <laughs> it's, I mean, we're sat in a showroom. The engine's not even on, and it's a sense of occasion just being in it. You know, so you know if it's exciting before you turn the engine on, you know, you, you know there's something you're, you're right. Doing, you're doing something right. motors and the new Fenya. Today was a totally different take on content. We've been doing lots of driving in the mountains and around about and today was just something new to keep it fresh. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you've got any questions about that car please leave it in the comments below. 
uh, because there was so much information to take on board then. If I didn't ask the questions you, you guys might want to know about, please let me know and I'll try and find out for you. And that's it. I'm going to take the rest of the evening to absorb what's been going on over the last week. Please be sure to subscribe. The things which are about to unfold for the second week of this tour are going to be super exciting. So uh, yeah, make sure you get the alerts. Oh yeah, that's something else. Uh, there is actually a little alert bell on YouTube. If you click that, you'll actually get an active alert when new content goes live because lately YouTube has been changing its system somewhat and uh, not everyone who has subscribed has got alerts. So yeah, do that and you'll be first to know. As always guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.